All the guys on the show want to hear about pitching because uh, that is obviously one of the massive components of CAN. What are the, the things that you see new filmmakers or inexperienced filmmakers doing when they come to an event like this that they're not getting right? What, what advice would you offer? I think perhaps the most important thing is getting to know who you're talking to before you pitch them. Because often people are just panicking about getting their project out there and talking about it, that they have a checklist saying, oh, I talked to this person, this person. But there's a huge advantage in researching. Now, if you just met somebody and you don't have the chance to research, ask questions at the beginning. Ask them what they're looking for so that you find a way to present your project as something that may be potentially interesting to them. And if it's not, don't pitch them. Find out more about them so that you can bring another project to them at another time. Right. So, um, do, you, do you think people talk too much about themselves and their projects and it's overload, overload and, and not create a, a communication? O often, because they just see that as the way to go. But I think the most important thing about pitching is it's about building relationships. And this person may not be interested in your project at this moment, but we're all in the business for a long time. And as you and I know, because we met each other four years ago, um, you don't forget those conversations and building on the relationship. So I think that filmmakers should perhaps relax a little bit and do their uh, due diligence to recognize that they're not just talking to a suit or a skirt, but somebody, a real person that's looking for real product. Right. And if you re if you have a sense of what they're looking for and can position your film in that way, then you're giving them something they want which improves the relationship. Right. Now, in terms of pitching a story, what are the things that you see people getting wrong a lot? Because, you know, sometimes I've, I've heard pitches that go on for like 45 minutes and you just want to slap the person and say, guys, guys, it's not supposed to be the length of the movie, it's supposed to be short. What, what are the common things you think people get wrong? I think they, they try and give too much information. Um, I've probably seen about 7,000 pitches and in that time what I've recognized is that you can actually talk about your project and present your own strengths about what you're bringing to the table in three minutes. In a conversation, if you can um, pr uh, present it in a way that it starts that the person you're talking to become involved within three minutes, then it becomes a conversation. It's not a presentation, it's not a input on. Um, and ultimately what you want is you want to hear their comments, you want to hear their feedback. Right. And I think we tend to think, often people think, oh, if they're quiet, then I can keep talking. But they may be thinking about something totally different. Right. So do your homework in advance and say, what? What do I want to know from this person? Right. So that as you talk about your story, you can end with a question that draws them in. Right. And then um, they become engaged. And what is, uh, often it's, it's bizarre because people forget, but what is the logical second step after the pitch? If it's successful, people then think, well, does that mean I'm, what's next? You know, because it's so rare that you get a pitch that goes so well with somebody very powerful. That what is normally the second step? Do you enter a bigger conversation or then does it turn into a treatment or a script? Or? Well, what I would always find out before I start my meeting is how long my meeting is and then I would look at myself as the host of that meeting even if they called the meeting and at the time that I know it's up I would say I realize you only have 15 minutes so I just want to review what the next steps are I mean let's just be really direct and say should I uh, send you the DVD uh, would you like to receive it uh, online um, is there a colleague I should send it to and then what do you suggest as a follow-up? I mean, you're making your life easier and their life easier if you both understand the next step. But I think, again, people get so nervous that they don't think they can ask that. Yeah. But people want to make it easier for themselves and for you. Right. And, um, and then, oh, yep. key yeah. is follow-up. So even if they uh, choose not to take your film, then follow up with an email saying thank you right. uh, you may remember this film I'm going to look to an opportunity to bring you another film but always follow up we call it in the music industry because I teach there as well aftercare program so always always follow up because of course it's a relationship that is going to last maybe your entire career absolutely yeah so um, final uh, couple of questions which I always ask people in these interviews one really cool tip or really interesting tip that you could give somebody something esoteric Esoteric, I don't know what the word means. Um, I think often filmmakers um, don't pitch 
using visual images. They talk around the subject. The, the, if we think of ourselves as in a visual medium, if you can describe your film in three strong visual images, for example, that indicate the tone of the film, the uh, the uh, a plot turning point, a character point, visually, then I go away, see your movie in my head, and I want to help you make it. Right. Okay. But think visually, talk visually. Okay. But that doesn't have to take longer than three minutes. Right. And what is the most common mistake you see people making? Interesting. Perhaps that they don't realize that it's a real person sitting across from them. Right. And taking the time to understand where they're coming from to start your story from there. And also, the other thing is, don't... <laughs> the other thing is, don't um, show, don't tell. If, if you say it's a really exciting project, I go, eh, who are you to tell me? But if you, through description, I go, oh my God, that's an exciting project, then I'm caught by that. Fantastic. So, yeah. Okay, final question. What advice, if you could give one piece of advice to the emerging filmmakers who are watching the show, it can be about anything, it doesn't have to be about pitching, anything, what, what piece of wisdom would you impart to them? I've learned it from the French and it's bon courage. Have lots of courage. Okay, fantastic. Well, thank you, Jan. We love you. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. And we'll see you at the next one. I'll be at the pitching workshop tomorrow. So. Fabulous. Great, All right. thank you. See you then. Bye.